Hello, everybody. Welcome back, uh, my friends, to the show that never ends. I've been editing and, and touching up some of this this week's on Ustream uh, because in a couple of weeks we're going to be on the telly and the telly demands that we have to do certain things like put titles to all of this this week's. And there's 265 episodes to be watched and I've just been watching them all again. I never knew I had so many suit and ties. Uh, I'm quite a smart boy, really. I don't know where I put them all. Anyway, let's uh, let's just uh, go on and chat today about the news. We're a day early today because I've got to go to London tomorrow, and I've got to sit with one of my favourite comedians called Scott Caporo. Do you know Scott Caporo? He's an American savage gay man who's one of my great pals who looked after me a lot when I was uh, up in Edinburgh, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him tomorrow. So I won't be able to have any time. Uh, filming, but most of the horrible news has happened today. Did you see that an asylum seeker, uh, a 21 year old asylum seeker, has stabbed uh, Thomas Roberts uh, to death? A young man who was uh, trying to get into the Royal Marines and they said he was going to be uh, very, very good. He had his life taken away by interfering in a fight on the street. There's a lesson for you all run away because life could change uh, instantly. But this asylum seeker, his name's totally. Uh, unpronounceable. He was from Afghanistan. Uh, he's now been charged uh, with murder. I think he's been to court, so I can mention it. I can't mention his name because I can't pronounce it. But he told the border force he was 14 years of age when he uh, came. I mean, come on. And the border force believed it. Why didn't they do any checks? And listen to this. The hits just keep coming. It turns out that he'd murdered two other people as well while in Europe, in Serbia, apparently. This young Afghani 21-year-old triple murderer posing as a 14-year-old kid. So much so that they, he convinced the people who believed him, of course, uh, that uh, he needs to go into a foster home and was put into a foster home. Those poor people, must they be thinking, good people that wanted to foster someone. And, and now we've got another thing as well. The asylum seeker, now a Sudanese asylum seeker, has been sentenced for sexual assault on a 16-year-old girl. Do you know? Can we not vet these fucking people when they come in? It's, or, they, or you just believe all the lies? I mean, Border Force, you, have you on strike or what? Does it make any difference whether you're there or on strike? I don't wish to wind you up, guys, but come on. Don't let in murderers. That's normally the thing, isn't it? And of course, this illegal immigration is going to keep on and on and on. Now, you can understand uh, people moaning about a load of asylum seekers turning up. There's a small village with 600 people in it, and they're going to put 1,000 asylum seekers in some shit hotel up the road or some college or something. And, I could, and that got stopped. I could imagine the owner of the hotel going, oh, shit, I thought I'd had it made then. Could have had another holiday in France. The hotel I stayed in last night in South End, Westcliff-on-Sea, the Westcliff Hotel, the worst hotel on earth run by the world. How do you bugger up poached eggs? I mean, it's, I don't know how these, can we have a beer? We've run out of beer. How can you run out of beer in a hotel? And they say booking.com, it's got seven out of six. I've probably read it wrong. It's 7.6 out of, uh, of 2,000. So that's what's happening. It would make a good asylum seeker hotel because that would stop the asylum seekers coming. We're going to put you in the Westcliff Hotel in Westcliff, they'll stop coming across the channel then, don't you worry about that. And what's the Labour Party saying about all this? What's the uh, Mr Keir Starmer, I was born in a, in a pebble dash semi-detached house, I slept in a room with my brother, oh fuck me, my heart goes out to you. So what are you going to do, Labour Party, about stopping these people coming across the channel? Just moan at the Conservatives for not being able to do it. In fact, moan at the Conservatives for everything, but have no uh, thing to say about it. Um, it's, it's quite unbelievable. And all they could say is Rishi Sunak uh, wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He should resign. The man didn't pay his tax, although he has paid his tax, but he didn't pay it straight away and made a mistake. He should be sacked. Well, you Labour Party, you should be sacked. There's nothing worse than that envy politics, is there? Jealousy. We can't get them out by our policies being better than theirs, so we'll trip them over. Pisses me off. Right, I'm off the Ustream. If you don't want to come, don't. I'm in a bad mood.